Hi, my name is Tracy Larson, and I lead Cross Life Church in North Tampa, Land Lakes area. Hi, my name is Shannon Hogan. I'm a church planner of Cross Life Community Church in Northwest Tampa and Newport Ritchie area. My name is Jorge Navarro, church planter at New Tampa, Whitley Chapel area, La Passion Church. I'd just like to tell you a quick story. Let me tell you a story. I want to tell you a story. About five years ago, as I approached by the district superintendent about meeting him at a church that had suffered uh, some betrayal and distrust. Approximately six years ago, while I was working as a professor in Georgia, we were having some struggles at the university, and my wife and I began to pray about what we wanted to do. I was at a staff in a, in a local church, and um, I felt the calling on my heart of planting a new work in the Wesley Chapel area. What was interesting is that God had been tugging on my heart to come back into pastoral leadership. And he had spoken to me very specifically, Tracy, listen, I just want you to know the last 20 years of your life are gonna be way more fruitful than the first 30. A lot of Hispanic people were coming to the area and I felt the, the, the need, that was the need to reach down to them. I asked all the kids, I asked my wife what their desire was, where they were at, where their heart was. And they said, wherever the Lord wants to take us, we're willing to go. We just began to pray. We began to seek the Lord. And we knew that God had called us to the city. How are we going to reach the city? And as we began to look out, and we began to see that we had in certain geographical areas, we had uh, groups of people in each of these geographical areas. So it was uh, putting one plus one is two. We knew that we needed to start a work in each of these geographical areas so that we would be able to better uh, create community and influence a community around us. We resigned from that position at the, at the church that I was at that time and it's embarking that journey of finding out and start uh, a planting. That's when I uh, came to Cross Life and start working towards that. So we ended up about a year after being in Georgia and we returned to the Tampa area. The unique thing that began to take place is the people that began to come were spiritual mothers and fathers. The, the cool thing about that is, is that the Lord began to talk to me even before they came is that I was to pastor a city. I was to uh, influence a region. You know, typically people think that to influence a region, you've got to grow a big church. Uh, that was not what God's intention was. So we actually planted ourselves initially in Trinity. Then we actually purchased a home in Newport Ritchie. And we sensed that was it. That's where he wanted us. And then Shannon moved back to the area. He started teaching as a professor at Trinity College. He hooked up with us at Cross Life Church, and we began a journey together about praying and seeing what God wanted to do. And while we were there, the Lord began to share with us and show us things that were happening in Newport Ritchie. So my wife and I knew right when we got there that this was our community, this was our responsibility, and this is where we needed to be. Now, when Jorge came in, uh, I just knew that God had called him to lead. Uh, of course, I had at the time a lot of ideas of what that looks like that I needed to really uh, work out in my own heart. Instead of planting at the time, I was led, God led me in another direction, uh, planting actually a work uh, in Dominican Republic. And that's what we did for the next two years. And that process went all the way to the to selling, putting the, the house in the market and ready to sell. One night praying, uh, the Lord put a question on, on my heart. He told me, George, yes, you're ready to take your family all the way across the ocean and go and serve in Dominican Republic, and that is great. But he said, but what about the people of Wesley Chapel, your neighbors, your back doors neighbors? What are you doing for them? What are you not willing to spend the same amount of time, energy, and resources in reaching them. They need me too. After a couple years time, Jorge came back, I met him again, and I said, look, I think it's still in your heart, still in your life, and we're still for you and with you. Let's begin to get together and see what God would say to you about you being a part of what we're doing here at Cross Life to expand the influence that we have in the Tampa area. From preparing luggage to go across the sea and be missionaries, our life took a new, new course back again to reach and to be missionaries right here in Florida, in Tampa, in Wesley Chapel, for the people of the God has calling to himself. So as I was in the Word, the Lord began to challenge me with a specific scripture. It says, little children, we must not love with word or speech, 
but with truth and action. As I was running in my neighborhood, I met a tree trimmer guy, one of our neighbors, and he says, Shannon, you've got to see this. After all the rain that we had here in Newport Ritchie, a large grandfather oak tree had fallen completely over. And I asked him, I said, what was the problem? What happened? He said, look inside. And I looked inside and all there was, was water. The water table of our area had increased so much that it began to destroy the root system of the trees around it. That's what God wants to do in Newport Ritchie in Northwest Tampa. He wants to increase the spiritual water table through us, through prayer, through reading of scripture. And he wants to destroy the roots of the enemy and the things that are now, the, the things that are the strongholds of our area. You know, being in, 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 in pastoral uh, positions, I knew the importance of mission, but it, when I start going to Dominican Republic, that's when the Lord really opened my heart for missions to, to the next level and give me a passion for missions and give me a passion for missions internationally and even local missions. And that's what La Passion is all about. That's what we, our heartbeat is, to, to show the love of Christ in a practical way to a lost world out there that is waiting for somebody to come and cheer with them the love of Christ and then give them an opportunity to receive the gospel and to accept Jesus Christ as Savior, Sanctifier, Healer, and Coming King. I want to help lead a cause for him. I want to partner with what God is already doing in our area. I want to align myself with his purposes and what he's doing in Northwest Tampa and the Newport Ritchie area. The reality is it's, it's God's church. And we're God's people and it's God's mission, it's God's plan. And God knows what he wants to do and he knows who he wants to use to do whatever it is he's called them to do. We want this to be about everybody having an opportunity to nudge those that they're in contact with, to bring awareness to others that there is a Christ, that there is an eternity. The reality is about what's been happening across life is we're the proverbial squirrel tripping over the acorn. As we just keep taking steps, as we pursue God, as we engage in His Word, as we look out into the communities around us, as we look in to see who God has given us, we're just trying to hear well so that we can do what He's called us to do. You know, if we're going to increase our gospel footprint, if we're going to increase our influence in our communities, in our cities, we need healthy leaders, raising healthy leaders so that we might have healthy churches to do the work that God has called us to.